from Queens, New York, it's the Bill Murray Show, starring Mark Malcolm. Now, here's Mark. Hi, welcome to the second episode of The Bill Murray Show, starring Mark Malkoff. It's the show that doesn't end until Bill Murray agrees to have dinner with me here in my apartment in Queens. It is Bill Murray, day eight. It's been 192 Bill Murray hours since we first started. Uh, I'm getting a little concerned. I haven't yet heard from Bill Murray, and I'm just hoping he's okay, that he doesn't have a medical ailment like jaundice or chafing. And remember, Bill Murray, if you are watching this, you can have whatever you want for dinner, as long as it's under $75. Let's welcome our guest. She is the comedy editor of Huffington Post and has an amazing Bill Murray story. Welcome, Katla McGlynn. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It's exciting because you've met William Murray. I have met Bill Murray. I met him last year at the South by Southwest Festival mm -hmm. in uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, and essentially what we did was we were down there covering comedy, uh, me and my team. And we decided to launch a viral campaign to basically find and meet Bill Murray. Uh, we started a live blog. We started a Twitter hashtag. Uh, we actually also made posters. Wow. Flyers about 200 of these, and put them up all over downtown Austin. Later that night on Twitter, we found out that he was at a Jack White concert. We went to the concert, we couldn't get in, but we waited till the end, rushed in afterwards, and then like, there he was. And then we noticed that he was going into this hotel. So we followed him into the hotel. And then we watched him get into an elevator, and we thought, well, this is it, we're losing him. But then he held the elevator door open for us, uh, for myself and my fellow editor, Carol. He was inviting you. If Bill Murray wants you in an elevator, you do it. And we got in, the doors shut, he turned around, he looked at me, and he said, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm here because you're here. Wow. Yeah. Then he said I wasn't trustworthy. Oh! Now when Bill Murray says you are not trustworthy, how did that make you feel inside? Did you cry? Did you weep like a baby? So I kept my composure, yeah. and I just said, you know, we're cool. <sighs> Turns out there was a concert going on at the top of the hotel. We get there, the band is done playing, but mm -hmm. he makes them set back up and play again. Wow. Right now is the time that we present Bill Murray's dinner. Thank you, Christine, my wife, Christine. It's actually uh, the same dinner that we gave last week to oh. Bill Murray. It's been in the refrigerator. I think it's still good, uh, except um, I'm noticing that there's a flashlight in the spaghetti. Um, oh, it's, it doesn't work. Um, anyway, uh, you at home can help me. Please, if you know Bill Murray, if you have a means to get him here to my apartment, call the Bill Murray tip hotline and remember all calls are confidential. Also call the hotline if you know if he likes eggplant parmesan. I need to know. So we'll see you next week. There's an 80% chance Bill Murray will be here. It's gonna happen. Please subscribe. I'll see you next Tuesday.